G'day everyone, welcome back to the shop. So not much of video today, but I thought I'd show you the workshop where I'm currently working. Come on, I'll take you for a walk. So this is our manual machine shop. And there's some big old girls in here. We've got some old Colchester Masters, 3250s. We've got one over the back here, one here. Another here, they're quite monstrous. Another one over here. Now over this side, we've got a surface grinder. Looks like a Demco. Another grinder, a cylindrical grinder. It's a Jones and Shipman. This is a nice one over here. There's another Jones and Shipman. 1300 series, a nice cylindrical grinder, this one. Some of the students have been using this. Does a beautiful job. Over the back is our CNC space. I can't show you that yet, sorry, because that uh, hasn't had a ministerial launch. But look, let's just go over here and have a bit of a squeeze. Steadies face plates, some more steadies. Another big old Colchester. Now we've got some of these machines over here. And I think these are sort of a copy of a Colchester, but Taiwanese, I'm unsure of the brand. I'm not sure of the age either. Some big old girls few of those. Most have got digital readouts on them. The Colchester have got Heidemhein digital readouts on them. You can see over here. They'd be quite expensive in their day. So this one's branded Morton, which are pretty much the same. And over here we've got an old Colchester. She's pretty filthy. Believe it or not, we've had these clean. This is an old Colchester Triumph 2000. And it looks like it's got the copying on it as well, on the back side here, where you fix your piece in here and you can copy, like a copy turn lathe. I've never used one. Apparently it does work. I haven't seen it work yet. Our storeroom's out the back here. This is where the students would get their jobs and or get their tools for the day, fill out a chip and they'd be served by our storeman. Some measuring equipment on the wall here. Some of the jobs the students have been making or plans for the jobs. Have a look in the store here. I won't take you in there. Out the back and everything. Come around here now, we'll take you into the milling shop. And we've got, as you can see, we've got a range of pedestal grinders or bench grinders on pedestals here. Students learn to do some uh, sharpening of drills, high speed tooling, high speed steel tooling, I should say. Pedestal drills, got these big old Manford milling machines here. They're monsters, we've got a little power drawer bar on them. Dividing heads, shitload of dividing heads over here as well. Nice big old marking out table. Another big milling machine here. The students tend, the apprentices actually tend to like to use these ones here, the King Rich ones. Another King Rich mill here. Got a couple of uh, horizontals here. This one's been doing some gear cutting. So they cut themselves, they make a big winch and cut a gear. It's one of the student gears that cut the other day. What else have we got over here? Some bench work, we need to clean this up a bit at the moment. Andrew and I are working over here, trying to get things sorted. Arbor press, hydraulic press. Some of the lifting devices over here. Bending. 
to some work tables. So it's quite a really, really cool setup. It has been reduced over the years. Um, it, this building used to be all mechanical. And it used to go all the way to the end, I believe, before my time, but uh, that's now electrical down that sign. But my offsider Andrew, <laughs> believe it or not, he actually came and did his apprenticeship here. So yeah, it's funny, isn't it? As time moves on. So anyway, guys, I hope you appreciate that. Good to see you. Sorry it's only a short video today, but I wanted to get something out on Monday for you and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll just give you another quick look around. We've got some classes over there as well. Metrology room down the back. Alrighty, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.